Engineer 775 back on a site that I wanted to show you an update. It's a site we did about six months ago. That's a time of use site, meaning we're using a battery, hybrid battery backup system, Solark 12K, about 10K solar here in a pasture, just uh, taking this customer's power bill to zero. The only thing they can't offset is the uh, equipment monthly equipment charge and that's about thirty dollars so they get a thirty dollar bill for the rest of their life but that gives them the ability to use the grid and sell power back and uh and then offset their time of use when it's extremely high and that's been working great but the main reason for this video is to show you how the system is being used to run a small dairy operation small dairy operation what i mean by that is they're milking uh, six jersey cows every day and uh, their water is close. I did their solar water about eight years ago. They got two wells, we tied them together. We've got solar pumps, booster pumps, hand pumps. So a lot of backups to their water system, but I really wanna show you the dairy. So let's go over there. Okay, we're at the dairy here's, now. Here's, uh, here come the girls. That black one or the... So we're not here at milking time because uh, we're on. working on a job and it's late. Come here. Come and, uh, but I asked Mike if he could just bring a girl or two into his Come new on. home dairy here. He milks six Come of these. On. Hey girls. Hey girls. Oh, they're beautiful. Nothing prettier than cow eyes. Never seen one up close to Jersey cows. Just beautiful, beautiful girls. All right, I'm gonna go see, once he gets that in the stanchion, I'm gonna go inside. So again, this dairy is running on solar. A Solark 12K inverter runs the his freezer, his milker, refrigerator. He's got a nice little local dairy business. He's been a dairy farmer for 30 plus years, and so he just wanted he he moved his operation from the dairy to his house, which is about a mile away. And uh, let's see if we can go in, check out the the new dairy. Oh yeah, look at pretty girl in there. So we're not gonna milk her now because they only milk him once a day. And, uh, but he gra graciously let her come in here and let me shoot this video. So he's got this uh, milking machine. I believe it's out of Turkey. And there's a dealer local who was able to pick that up, right? That's correct. And uh, so that's awesome. And he's gonna show you the grain, the grain bin that he gets supplied, resupply that once a month or? About once, once about once a month. Weeks, right. Make sure they get enough of the right protein, the right additives, and uh, we've been sampling this milk for I think almost ten years now. It's unbelievably good, but a uh, little easier on the homeowner now that the dairy is close to his house. He doesn't have to go over to the other farm. He just downsized a little bit. He's going to retire I think when he's about ninety. And uh, look at that pretty girl. Look at them eyes. So anyway, let me let me show you. This is the you can milk. You can bring two in at a time and milk them, and then turn them back out that door. That's right. So he, he brings them in this ramp over here, and then turns them back out into the pasture. They got lots of water close, and uh, they were like, "What's going on?" So this is confusing them. It's a hot middle of the day that we're pulling them into the dairy barn. All right, what do we got in the other, in the other side? If I can get my gimbal to turn around. So on this side where the milk is stored. Instead of having an, uh, an old compressor, like in many dairies, or like he had in here in his other dairy farm, he uses a freezer. Can I open this up? Sure. So he freezes, keeps the milk cool in here in this freezer, and then uh, he's selling it out of, uh, out of this refrigerator. So he's selling other stuff too. God, you selling all this meat? Mmm, detour. So we're running, uh, keeping this, uh, dairy operation running on solar. So I'm gonna be able to get one of these and take one home, get one for Abraham too. Unbelievably good milk. You'll see the cream, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's the, the cream line on these Jersey cows. It's so, so good. So he's got, a, he got water out here, power out here. You can do the whole operation. Nice sanitary little dairy barn. Over here is the grain grain bin that we're also powering off of solar. And 
I'll show you that. So got a little hopper he fills up once a month. And we intercepted one of the power lines and you can see the grain there. So you can go over here, got this power switch here. Oh, I'll get in trouble if I overfill his bucket. So he gets his grain and I know they've added different minerals and additives to this for the, he's been working on this for a long time. Oh, they heard that. There's a little Pavlov's dog going on here. So hello girls, you want some, you want taste? Oh my goodness. They're happy. They're happy. So we got water up here. We got hay storage. So anyway, nice to see this, uh, working and running off of their solar system. They do not have a power bill here, except an equipment charge of about $30, 30 to $40 a month. And so girls are happy. Milk is great. And as we, just as we were filming this customer came in and got some, a uh, couple gallons of milk. So this is a, this is a, just a dying art form. There are very few small dairies in the United States anymore. And here's a local community dairy. He's a certified A2A2 dairyman, producing a, an amazingly good product. We got two wells here. We got backup water for them. We'll make sure these girls, they drink a lot of water. How much water you they drink in a day, you think, Mike? About 20 gallons. About 20 each. Abraham, if you hand me that. How, how many gallons of milk you get in a day? Four gallons per cow, so 24 gallons of milk every day. And, that, and it's not milk like you're used to. I used I call that milk that you get dead bug water. <laughs> this is a, <laughs> this is the real stuff. Seven percent milk fat or higher. Oh my goodness, that's how you make the milk. That's how you make the milk. Whoa, man, look at these girls. They are happy. They're milk making machines. Anyway, we're just glad to have a little part in this whole operation, powering the, the dairy and supplying the water for a sustainable dairy operation. Yeah, there's a happy girl. All right, I guess I've showed you pretty much the whole operation. We didn't get to do the milking because they get milked at seven in the morning or close to it. And um, he's milking once a day, and they're just, just as happy as can be with that once a day. Saves a lot on cleaning up time, having the, I mean, the, the most time spent in cleaning, sanitizing everything. Set, set, setting up and cleaning up. Setting up and cleaning up. Milking's not, not an issue as far as time. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed that. You can uh, just uh, be awesome to have, wouldn't it be nice to have little community dairies again, or the milkman delivered uh, the milk or he's got people coming to him but uh might go back to that he's got an awesome product this is a just a dying art form right here folks all right this is engineer 775 signing out